Hey, listen, if you're worried that your job might not exist in five years, you're not crazy. You should be thinking about this. Look, AI is already replacing millions of jobs. Coders, writers, designers, customer service reps, whole industries are getting automated right now. And honestly, most people are wasting years building skills for careers that are just going to disappear. But here's the thing. I've been studying thousands of AI companies and market trends, and I found six careers that AI actually can't replace. And they're paying six figures right now, today. These aren't just random jobs everyone's chasing. These are the roles that will still be here in 2026, 2030, and beyond. You don't need to go to med school or become a rocket scientist. You just need to know where to focus. So let me walk you through these six skills, starting from number six. All right, number six, creative director. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, can't AI create anything now? Images, videos, music, everything. Yeah, it can create stuff. But here's what it can't do, it can't feel. It can't lead. It doesn't have taste. See, a creative director isn't just someone who makes things. They're the person who says, Okay, what should we create? Why does this matter? What's the story we're telling? What feeling are we going for? Think about it like this. AI is the tool, but you're the artist. You're the one with vision. You understand people. You know what resonates emotionally. You can look at the future and say, here, what we need to build that doesn't exist yet. And here's the crazy part. Single-person marketing teams are replacing entire agencies right now. But guess what? Those teams still need someone with vision leading them. That's you. You're looking at $100K to $130K a year. The learning curve is moderate. And honestly, competition is pretty low because most people don't even know this role exists or how valuable it is. If you can tell stories, understand emotion, and lead creative work, you're golden. Number five is data analyst. Okay, so every company right now is drowning in data. I mean drowning. They're collecting thousands of terabytes, customer behavior, sales numbers, website clicks, everything. But here, the problem, without someone who understands what it all means, it's just noise. That's where you come in. A data analyst is like a detective. You look at all this information and you say, okay, here's what's actually happening. Here, why it's happening. And here's what we should do about it. AI can spit out reports all day long, but it doesn't understand context. It doesn't know the business. It doesn't know why customers are doing what they're doing. You do. I always say this, without data, you're just another person with an opinion. But when you bring data to back up your ideas, now you're making strategy, you're driving growth. Salaries $100K to 130K medium learning curve. Competition is high because a lot of people are jumping into this field. But if you can combine logic with storytelling and business sense, you're way ahead of most people. Number four, cybersecurity specialist. All right, this one's serious. As long as there's digital information, there's going to be people trying to steal it. And here's the scary part. AI is making hackers way more dangerous. We're talking deep fakes, voice cloning, AI-powered phishing attacks. I'm not even joking. My team has a code word now because AI can literally mimic my voice. Someone could call pretending to be me, and if they don't know the code word, we hang up. That's the world we're living in, and companies need people who can protect them from this stuff. Cybersecurity specialists defend networks, stop breaches before they happen, catch internal threats. Basically, you're the digital bodyguard. Now, I get it. This might sound boring to some people, but boring pays really well. You're looking at $110K to $140K a year. High learning curve, but here's the best part. Competition is low. Most people don't want to do this kind of detailed, technical work. They want the flashy, creative stuff. But that's exactly why this role is so valuable. One security breach can take a whole business down to zero. Companies will pay top dollar to prevent that. Number three, robotics engineer. This is where it gets really exciting. We're talking about designing the machines that will automate the physical world. 
I'm talking robots that can pick up after your kids, load the dishwasher, go get groceries, drive cars, pack boxes in warehouses. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is happening right now. You should see some of these DMOS, Tesla's Optimus robot, companies in China building humanoid robots. I watch these every week because I need to know what's coming. Robotics engineers combine hardware and software. And when you can do both, you're incredibly valuable because very few people have that skill set. As labor costs keep rising, robots aren't going to be a nice to have. They are going to be essential. Every business is going to need them. Starting salary is $115K to $150K or more. High learning curve, you might need an engineering background. Competition is medium because not everyone has the technical chops. But if you want to be at the cutting edge of innovation, building the future with your hands, this is it. Number two, full stack software engineer. Here's the thing, AI can write code now. Like 90% of code is being written by AI today. So why do we still need engineers? Because writing code is not the same as designing a system. A full stack engineer doesn't just write code. They architect entire platforms, front end, back end, security, databases, deployment, scalability. They know how all the pieces fit together. AI is a tool that helps them move faster, but you still need a human brain to say, okay, how do we make this secure? How do we make this scale to a million users? How do we integrate all these different technologies? I've seen this firsthand. One of our portfolio companies, the founder built the entire platform by himself. One developer, full stack, and now they're serving hundreds of customers and doing millions in revenue. Salary is $120K to $160K, sometimes way more. Medium learning curve. High competition because a lot of people are retraining for these roles, but that's because every company needs them. If you can think in systems, and solve big problems, you're building serious leverage. And number one, the most future-proof skill, AI and machine learning specialist. Here's the reality. The best way to make sure AI doesn't replace your job is to be the person building the AI. These are the people who design the models, train the systems, build autonomous agents. They're not just using AI tools, they're creating entirely new tools. Most people talk to ChatGPT and think they understand AI. But these specialists, they're on hugging face working with language models, data sets, vector databases, inference systems, the deep technical stuff that powers everything. And companies are paying insane money for this. You know what Mark Zuckerberg just paid his top AI engineers? $100 million each, 18 people. That's how valuable this skill is. Starting salary is $130K to $180K, but it goes way higher. High learning curve. Low competition because most people don't want to go this deep. But if you master this, you'll be valuable next year, in 10 years, in 50 years. Because AI is the foundation of everything now. So here's what I want you to take away from this. AI isn't going to destroy all jobs, but it's going to destroy all mediocrity. If you sit back and hope things stay the same, you're going to get replaced. But if you learn to direct, protect, build, analyze, innovate, if you position yourself above the AI, not below it, you're going to thrive. Pick one of these six skills. Start learning it today. Ask AI to teach you. Build projects. Get your hands dirty. Make mistakes. Iterate. Because here's the truth. The people who master these skills won't just survive the AI revolution. They're going to lead it. Don't put your head in the sand. Don't pretend this isn't happening. Embrace it. Lean into it. And future-proof your career right now. All right, that's it. If this helped you, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.